tell us your name. Herb Sanders. And who are you representing here at the hearing today? Uh, attorney for Stand Up for Democracy. Okay, so there were two very different arguments here today. One was the uh, people for the uh, Citizens for Freedom, I believe, is a group? Uh, citizens for Fiscal Responsibility. Okay, and they were making the case that the font size should be the issue, that they don't believe it's the right size, and therefore the petitions of the signature of over 200,000 Michigan Michiganders should be thrown out. You made the argument, as I understood it, that this is a one chance for Mich the people of Michigan to be able to redress their government and uh, you know get satisfaction and be able to put Public Act 4 on the uh, on the ballot in November. So you made a very powerful argument. Just kind of for our uh, viewers, would you kind of re reenact what you uh, made? The This is what this country is all about, to be able to say to our government, we the people feel differently than what you have proposed, and we want to redress that. On the other hand, the philosophy of Citizens for Fiscal Responsibility, by their own brief, was that this process should be hard, it should be difficult, it shouldn't be easy to do, and I don't believe that's what our country is built on or that's what our country is, is based on. I believe we're based on a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. And that means that we should be able to petition our government without having to hire an expert to create a document to collect signatures on. Do you think there's a, a racial aspect to the PA4 legislation? Well, uh, I think there are numerous aspects to it. I think that there is a, 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 a union aspect to it. I think that there is a, uh, a racial aspect to it. I think that there is a uh, have and have nots aspect to it, uh, a, a poor and a working class aspect. Um, but the bottom line, if you look at where uh, emergency managers have been placed, I'd be willing to push all the chips to the table and suggest to you that those are primarily areas in which there have been high democratic voting uh, precincts. You don't see emergency managers in areas in which there have been high Republican voting precincts. Do you think this is a subversion of our democracy? Were the, were the court to rule in favor of uh, citizens for fiscal responsibility. Do you think that this would be a subversion of our democracy? In it would Michigan? be a slap in the face of our state constitution, of our U.S. Constitution, and it would deny people access to the ballot. This act has already denied people the right to vote to elect their uh, representative. Now you're denying them access to determine whether or not the law should even be on the books. Do you, what do you think will have the court rules in favor of the uh, uh, Citizens for Fiscal Responsibility? What do you think the re response of the people of Michigan, especially the people that are under emergency managers across the state, do you have any thoughts about what, you know, what they should do and what their well, redress should be um, at that point? I, I think they should continue to petition their government. Uh, petition our government. Um, I think they should be outraged and uh, I think that we should uh, continue to let our voice be heard no matter to what extent the powers may be try to silence us. Do you think people, not, not in a violent way, do you, but do you think the people should take to the street and let their voices be heard uh, loudly on the streets of Michigan? Well, uh, there comes a time when uh, you become frustrated with the denial of your rights that the extraordinary measures that are being taken to deny your rights require a, an extraordinary response. Um, so I think it's up to the people to determine what that response will be. Great. Thank you very much.